we have officially made it to Barcelona. Okay, Barcelona about to be fun. Come on, baby. <laughs> We are continuing our trip around Europe and next up is Barcelona, Spain. We are spending three full days in this beautiful city where we are trying new foods. Put it down, you gotta eat it. Right now. Exploring new adventures. Super luxury, good time. We had a blast. I give it a 10 out of 10. And seeing a dentist. My baby needed to see the dentist. This wizard tooth has decided to become a bit of a nuisance. It's a... Uh, Pure pandemonium. Yeah, let's just say Barcelona was a trip that we will never forget. English? Stay tuned. As you can tell, I'm excited because I've always wanted to go to Barcelona. And hey, hey, how you doing? doing? Oh, hey, we're about to go to her. She big outgoing now. <laughs> oh, wow. That's interesting. Let's <laughs> see what we working with in this mother freaking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> okay, we got a little vibe in here. Okay, Barcelona about to be fun. Yeah, this is nice. It is fire though, I ain't gonna lie. Fire. Yeah, we about to get into it. We about to shower, get some meat. So we gonna catch you guys in the morning. Top of the morning, y'all. So we got a lot of legendary stuff planned today. First thing we're gonna do before we do everything, cause it's about to be riddled up and filled up a whole lot is we're about to feed Jazz, we're about to get us some breakfast in um, Spain, Barcelona. And the breakfast here, they're real world renowned for their food from what I'm reading. So while we're here, you know, we're gonna try all the traditional foods in Spain. So without further ado, we're about to leave. I know I got my hair slicked back and I'm looking like El DeBarge. Yeah, y'all don't see me very much like this other than in my childhood pictures, Jazz, see you know, <laughs> so. But uh, yeah, man, got the same hairstyle when I was a kid to when I was an adult. So anyway, we're about to get out of here, we're about to go, and uh, we'll catch you at the breakfast spot. So we found parking. Finally. Yeah, it's a little frantic out there with the parking. Exactly. And the streets are a little confusing. Cause there'd be like one light here, another light here. This light would be blinking yellow. This light would be red. So it's like, sounds simple thinking about it, but it's actually it's crazy. Yeah, it's pandemonium. So we're in here, we're currently at our seat right now. The line was kind of long, but it wasn't that bad. It went by pretty fast. Um, they gave out like orange juice and stuff for us, which was pretty dope because in the States, they ain't doing none of that. Nah, the jig is up on that. The, the jig is up, but... Like, Fresh squeeze oranges too. Right. This is the best reviewed breakfast in Barcelona that I could find. And y'all know I'm always researching and finding things, typing things into Google, trying to find the best breakfast. And uh, this is one of the best reviewed ones I've seen. I looked for a good while. Maybe there's something I didn't see, but this is the best that I could find. And you know, we got a fuel of jazz. You got a happy spouse, happy house. There you go. We got our breakfast here. We got the pancakes, the eggs, potatoes, everything. We got our sangria. I am starving, as my baby says. I don't play about my food, so let's go. All right, y'all, so we're at the Sagrada Familia. Hopefully I didn't botch that. It's pretty cool to see. Unfortunately, we cannot go visit the MOOC today, but we will go tomorrow. Cause they got this real dope part in there with like crazy lights, yeah. stained glass, windows, like it's just everything. So Jazz actually ended up getting the tickets on the phone, but when you get the tickets, you want to make sure you get the ones where there's, cause there's two towers. 
and you want to make sure you go up it and you got the part where the lights are and everything else yeah. with the stained glass windows and all that that's two different parts so y'all get the gist of it yeah. on to the next place we are currently <laughs> we are currently <laughs> come on baby we're almost there you're doing phenomenal <laughs> this is what happens when you walk the city y'all if we just insert the highlights y'all wouldn't understand all the in-betweens and the in-betweens <laughs> i'm holding jazz bag i got the i got the camera i got my bag <laughs> Oh, you guys, you want me to take your coat too? Come on, baby. You ain't got that much further. And a lot of this has been pure uphill. At least a mile. Uh, yeah, at least a mile. But we it's probably about 1.3 miles or something like that. I ain't sweating. <laughs> I told you. We could have got a taxi. Huh? It just keeps going up. Huh? She's <laughs> keep getting steeper and steeper, huh? Boss up. There you go, baby. There you go. Let's go, baby. She's pissed at me. I'm tired too. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we're at the Park UL. I probably messed that up. But it's one of Barcelona's most visited monuments. So they have a lot of different areas around where you can take pictures and things like that. It was a hike getting up here. We actually walked like a mile and a half upward on the street, which I'm tired, it's hot. But we're here now, so we're gonna make the best of it and let's get started. So listen, y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what this name is called, but I just thought it was dope. I had to come here and take a picture because I just like how it's kind of slanted, but then it has like a long teardroppy kind of like hallway down all the way to corridors and then you kind of walk out and then you can kind of pan out, see the outside of it too. So I just thought this was some good architecture. So I'm usually not in this kind of stuff, but I just thought this was dope, so I just wanted to take a picture here and get some real, some videos and some cool stuff to just kind of share with y'all. Cool experience, and if you get a chance to come here, just come here, check it out, get some good pictures, and uh, I know we did, so off to the next spot. And if y'all ever get a chance, check this spot out too, because that was a real legendary right there as well. Big pictures, big historicals, big memories, big everything. Check it out. We parked in the parking garage, so we don't know how much this parking garage is, so we about to find out. All right, so it was 18 euros, which is about $20. 1870 euros. Un momento, si us. All right, it's that bullshit. Bro. Press that call button on the left. English? Huh? Do you do English? <laughs> like, this gotta be automated. There's no way this is real. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's automated. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's automated. Yeah. That's somebody probably saying, all right, somebody's on their way. Yeah, dude's coming too. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I try to put the card in and. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, right there. See, we were right past it. Look. Yeah. All right. You're embarrassing. We're embarrassing. I'm just putting it on me. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Let's get us a shot now. Come on. There we go. Open sesame. All right. We out here. There we go. We decided to do something a little different. A labyrinth maze here in Barcelona, Spain. We are here. Time to show y'all how the maze looks. It reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Oh yeah, type, huh? Welcome to Maze. Yeah, for sure. Or Maze Runner. Oh yeah, sure. So I guess we made it to a dead end. Now, time to find our way back out of here. I'm just making it a little bit more suspenseful. It's actually really, <laughs> it's actually really easy. Jazz is the one that told us to take this way because she knew the other way was the way that we were gonna get out, so. Try to make it a little different. Spice it up, a little razzle dazzle for y'all. So we completed the maze. It was a little bit more tricky than you thought. Yeah, because we low easy. key for real got lost like four times. Yeah, we hit a couple so, dead ends. Yeah. <laughs> but we made it out. Yeah, and it was legendary. It was fun. And if you're ever in Barcelona, come check it out. Have some fun with it. Yeah, it was only four dollars. For a maze. I've never been to a maze. Yeah, it's like a whole park. You pay two dollars per person. See? Like, who can say they've been to a maze? A labyrinth maze in Barcelona, Spain. At that. On to the next. On to the next. Jazz ordered a daiquiri, and uh, I think it was a little different than what she was. Oh, that's, that's a good, oh, okay, punch it though. 
So it have an after effect pungent to it. Oh, that's good. Now you're lightweight. Yeah. So it starts off sweet and then kicks you. It's like a tart. Uh, okay, and then I ordered a, uh, what did I order? Passion for mojito. Good job, baby. See, that's more, look, 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 with the extra sip on mine. Come on, baby, you know I always order the best. But we just ordered literally a smorgasbord of Spain, Barcelona in particular's um, native dishes. Yes, the cava? Yes, I want. So this is like uh, Barcelona's thing, is uh, fizzing cava. So we big gonna try this for sure. Thank you. Gracias. Yeah, shout out to my little brother Derek. You tell me to get him out here in Spain. But I knew she loved this one. There's no way, you know, because it's potatoes. You love potatoes. Good? And now we have these joints right here, the baby squid with the eyes still attached. The eyes. Yeah, the eyes are still attached. Maybe those are the eyes. They got to be. I'll tell you, look, look, at the, look at the black dots. Those are the eyes. They got to be. What else could they be? <laughs> I told you those were the eyes. No way I Baby, put it down, you gotta eat it. Right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey. No, I already said put it down. Put this been laid. Nope. Show the eyes. Show the eyes to the people. So I can look at you, love, and look at you. <laughs> you about to eat eyeballs too? Ain't that crazy? When you're wrong. I bet you it's smacking though. It ain't gonna take me that long. I'm gonna eat one right now as we speak. That little nigga bust it. <laughs> Go give me some more of them little niggas, man. <laughs> so after the squid, baby squid eyeballs attached. Paella. Paella. Paella traditional. Traditional. Paella traditional. The jig is up. No, that was his. That was his whole tribe right there for sure. Yeah, I smacked it. I sm yeah, I smacked the whole generation. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You still got a few of his little cousins over there. Go ahead and take them to the head real quick. You got little lady, little nieces and nephews. Right? Let me just go ahead and put them out their misery. We grab a good spoonful with a potato and a shrimp in that mood. That's like, I'm telling you, this is like the Spain Barcelona version of red beans and rice. It's like red beans and rice. But the seafood Spain version. No, that pie is slapping. And it has a blend of everything. Seafood, calamari, mussels, shrimp. It's good, right? Baby, it, he's really gonna eat the eyeball. I told him his ass gonna be sick. Baby. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, I bought good. Yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. God. Yeah, man. Listen. Delicious, I bought. It's <laughs> Barcelona, Spain. Just eat eyeballs. Fuck it. That's my first eyeball I ever had. Really? You remember? When I try to get you to eat that eyeball in Jamaica? Hey, that's the fish. You take the eyeball. You tripping. Baby, get the f Oh, of course. That was funny. Yeah. Yeah, it was like we was trying to eat jerk chicken or something. Yeah. Man, the eyeball was part of some fish or something. Yeah. I was chasing all around the, 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 uh, the that was the top level room. That was. That was really nice. We was actually staying at the Trident in Jamaica. And, uh, Port Antonio. Port Antonio, yeah. That one was about $1,000 a night. That was an expensive ass uh, yeah, it was. situation. But it was fun, nonetheless. We are getting ready to go get some breakfast, which is my favorite time of the day. <laughs> yeah, it is. We are gonna get breakfast at this place called Eat My Trip. It looks really good. Um, I found this place on Instagram, so hopefully it's good. The taxi's here. Yep. After that, we are going back to that church to do an inside tour. 
So stay tuned for the day. So we figured out it's way easier. We could drive everywhere because obviously we got a car. Shout out to my dog Life of Keezy. Links in the description below. But we figured out it's way easier to just catch a taxi everywhere sure. <laughs> than it is to drive. Because it's pandemonium everywhere you go. Look, there's a car coming down the street right now and it looks like we on the sidewalk, don't it? So we are just leaving breakfast. Yep. Shout out to Lewis and Mimi. They were really sweet. They were cool, they're from Germany. Yep. They are by far the best people we've met this entire Euro trip. They were really nice. Yeah. I don't think nobody's gonna top them for the rest no, of this trip. No. We talked to them just about the whole meal. Yeah. And some. Like, yeah, they for were sure. really sweet. They were, they were. Yeah. Super, super nice people, man. Yeah, they were traveling just like us. They were a mother yep. and son yep. on a trip through Barcelona. That was so dope. And, yeah, that's really amazing yeah shout out, they, they subscribed to both our channels so shout they out to sure y'all you know? <laughs> yeah, Louis and yeah for sure <laughs> Louis and bb we appreciate y'all very yep. much but now we are going to the castle again i don't even want to say the name because i know i'm about it <laughs> the familia yeah. castle so yeah. off we go to the next stop here we go so for starters, we had to go through security where we then made our way to the entrance of the church. Y'all, when you walk in, you are immediately greeted by the amazing ambience of this Catholic church. From the stained glass windows coming from all around to the amazing details in the ceilings and the walls. It was just so beautiful. This church, which is called Sagrada Familia, is Barcelona's most famous landmarks and was designed by architect Antony Gaudí back in the 1800s. This church has been under construction since 1882 and is still unfinished. It is the largest unfinished Catholic church in the entire world. To visit, you must buy tickets online and you have to have a time slot. We paid 72 euros or about $80 USD for both of us to visit. You have an option of also visiting one of the towers and that's exactly what we did. We took an elevator all the way up to the top where you then take some stairs to go further up and y'all the views were amazing. After being at the top, the only way to get down is to take the stairs. And let's just say it was a little claustrophobic in there and it is a long way down. Once you finally make it, you're back to the entrance of the church where you then can start all over again. Super dope, super legendary, good time. We had a blast. I give it a 10 out of 10. Oh yeah, that's a 10 out of 10. And then the colors with the lights and stained glass windows. Yeah. Man, hard. It was hard. beautiful. Oh, we gotta get our bag. Because they, they actually took our drove. Yeah, they took our, our bag. But the dude was real cool. It's not about what you say, it's about how you said. But he was actually really cool. We ain't, everybody in Europe ain't been so cool, but he was really legendary. His communication skills was up to par. And uh, yeah, now we gotta leave. He told us we gotta walk out first. So we gotta walk back around and give him a ticket. We gone. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So now that we got the bag back. Yep. Everything we, in. Yep. We just going to shake and bake and just move around the city, have a little fun. Turn the camera off for a second, enjoy the moments. Try to have just a legendary good time without, without filming, you know. That's hard for me, y'all, because I, I like, I like capturing the moments for y'all, and I like looking back on it personally too. Oh, yeah. So I, I'm just one for capturing the moments. You are, but that's a good yeah. thing because in the moment we, I don't want to record, but yeah. then I'll be like, dang, I wish we could look back on that moment. Facts. So he's very good at that, so yeah, I appreciate it. And I think I'm good with balance as far as recording and then stop recording within that same moment, that's share true. enough with y'all, yeah. and then we have like, let's say if we film, like we got an hour window. I'll do 30 minutes sharing it with y'all and then another 30 minutes, no camera, none of us, just sitting there talking, yeah. enjoying the moment, different things like that. So I, I try to be as balanced as possible. Do I've been good. doing YouTube for over six years now. It's okay. You, do you gotta good. be balanced in order to have some mental sanity in this social media world. So yeah. we'll flip, flip back on this camera um, whenever the time is convenient, man. And, uh, we off the clock. Yeah, Max. We always off the clock. <laughs> So today is a little different than we started any other day, but we are all getting taken care of. Early this morning, Jazz and I left the hotel. We immediately packed our bags, checked out of our hotel, pulled up the car, threw that thing in reverse, put it in drive, head straight to the dentist's office because Jazz has been dealing with a toothache 
for quite some time, but here and there she kind of said it bothered her, but we didn't really notice severity. Jazz has a good high pain tolerance, obviously, but her wisdom tooth has been coming in. This we knew before we left LA, but all of our other wisdom teeth came in, but this one wisdom tooth has decided to be a late bloomer and a nuisance to a certain degree. Therefore, decided to cut up while we were here in Barcelona, Spain, and has made it a memorable trip that we'll never forget by simply coming in at a wrong angle and the whole wisdom tooth hasn't come out. Now, for anybody that's out there that's ever dealt with wisdom teeth problems or toothache problems, you know it's no joke when you're just at home in America and you got your health insurance, you got everything like that, but it's totally different when you're on a Euro trip and we're in Barcelona, Spain, and we don't speak the native language here um, and we're trying to find a dentist office. So I personally Googled, y'all know I'm the researcher of the group. So I got on Google, looked for the best dentist office in Barcelona, Spain, uh, read the reviews. They got really good reviews. So we decided to come here this morning. Parking has been extremely hard to find, um, but nonetheless, we found it. Um, hopefully we're in the right parking spot because I don't even know if this is a good parking spot or not. But my baby needed to see the dentist. This wisdom tooth has decided to become a bit of a nuisance. So it's kind of come in at a weird angle where it's kind of out, but it's kind of not. It's, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's in a tough situation. And it's put my baby in an even tougher predicament because she's been in pain, she hasn't been able to eat. And the crazy part is, is I kept asking her every single day, I said, baby, what's wrong? She said, oh, you know, I was eating this a little bit. You know, it's a little bit of a problem. I said, oh, okay, maybe it's just some, maybe she chipped. Uh, her piece of her gums and her gum was a little inflamed or whatever. So it got to a point where we were laying in the bed last night in our hotel and I rolled over and kissed her on her cheek and she said, ah, baby, that hurt my jaw. So I said, okay, that's a little, now that ain't no gum pain. I said, open up your mouth, let me see. She opened up her mouth, she let me see. And lo and behold, her whole gum on the bottom part from the wisdom tooth to like the mid part of her jawline was inflamed. So, like I said, I Googled. Best dentist, came directly here. Now Jazz is currently at the dentist office. So without further ado, let's get up there. Let's see what my baby's going through. And that is her actually calling me there right now. Let's go. All right, y'all. So I'm currently waiting for Jazz to come out right now. And uh, she's using the bathroom. So I gave her some antibiotics. And now we're about to get out of here because they say it's too inflamed to actually pull her wisdom tooth today. And there she goes. Well, that was over with. Uh, that was interesting. Well, not interesting in a bad way. Um, they gave me antibiotics to help with the inflammation in my gums. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get my wisdom tooth pulled when I get back home. All my other wisdom teeth came in just fine. Like, I don't think I got them up here. I only had it on this side. But that one came in just fine. Now this one, it's like, I thought it was gonna be a piece of cake because the other one came in just super easy. But I just don't understand how I am 30, about to be 34, and I'm just getting wisdom to you. Y'all comment down below if that's happened to y'all, but let me go put this earring back in. We have the antibiotics. So that it was super easy. You walk in, give them their prescription, and that was it. So I'm glad it wasn't a hassle, you know? Facts, and this is the part about traveling abroad. If you're traveling abroad for months on end, there's gonna be stuff that's gonna pop up, but you'll figure it out as you go. Yeah. So you just gotta know just to keep figuring it out. It's just like you do in regular life. You're just doing it in a different country. Listen here, y'all. Parking ain't no joke. Yeah, that's why yeah. everybody got scooters out here. <laughs> or they walk. Look or at they this. Have a bike. Look. It's a pure pandemonium. The bikes, scooters. But I'm not gonna lie, what would you say is worse? This? Or Amsterdam. Right. Amsterdam. Amsterdam as far as driving. For sure. So Amsterdam was definitely by far the worst. Oh yeah, I definitely agree. But Barcelona ain't that far off. Jazz, we just met, ran into a cool black girl. No, let me tell you, I just, so all the, all the black people I ran into here, like, like, hey, how you doing, right? They but just look at you like you dumb. Like, you know, so I just passed by this black girl. She was with a group of friends. And I was like, hey, she was like, okay. And then her friend said, oh my gosh, Alex, that's so rare to see. Yeah. Her friends were white, so they were like, that's so rare to see. Ain't that crazy? And I turned around, I was like, hey. <laughs> so it was like a, it was a moment. You know? That'd be funny if she was actually G-Love though. Yeah. Or a love bug. Yeah. So, but you never know. You never know. So we've got a lot of love out here. Yeah. I've, I have fans in 
Barcelona, yeah. Amsterdam. And I know they're all over in Berlin. We know we got fans all over and supporters, which we really appreciate y'all. But that was a dope moment because yeah, Jazz has literally, she has though, she has. I've been yearning for that moment. <laughs> yeah, and now she finally got it. We got some donuts. We got our sugar donuts. So the first time we ever went to France in the Eiffel Tower, they actually had those donuts in the Eiffel Tower and they're fire. They're pretty much just sugar donuts, but they hit a little different out in um, Europe. We got some fresh squeezed orange juice, which Jazz loves about Europe. Yep. And four donuts. Let's go. I'm ready to try it. Come on, here we come. Let's get the car suited and booted. So after 11 hours, we have finally arrived in Gibraltar. Rock of Gibraltar. Right there. Oh, 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 oh. Very good. Be careful. Don't touch it. Gotta be cautious out here. Nah, this is hard. Can it get any better than this? <laughs> 